Oh man, my ninjas, my ninjas. You had a little mini vacation. Yeah. Took a week off. Yeah. yeah. I don't hear no complaining from you niggas. Facts. We gave you 52 episodes. That's 52 <laughs> weeks of content that y'all niggas don't pay for. Facts. <laughs> All right. And it's because our engineer went on vacation. <laughs> yeah. Not because I was in rehab. <laughs> not. <laughs> Somebody nah. said that? Nah, but niggas is like, uh, oh, no episode this week. Oh, go check out Hesh. No, fuck y'all, niggas. And I was at home eating tacos with my own goddamn business. They had nothing to do with me. They thought we was going to your funeral? Yeah, today. like, fucking, no, nah, I wasn't in rehab. I wasn't motherfucking in the yeah. psych ward or nothing. I was at home chilling. It had nothing to do with me. G wanted to go spend time with his family, make memories and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Nah, but shout out to G. You know, some, sometimes you need that little reset. But yeah, we gave y'all all that content. Y'all ain't paid for that. Not a, not a nad nutter. Of that shit So we deserve a break You know It wasn't intentional Hopefully we, That's the first time We missed the episode In like Ever Ever mm-hmm. <laughs> So you know It is what it is But My ninjas My ninjas mm-hmm. How y'all doing uh, hey. Pretty good What's going on with you Hash How's your weekend been Um Pretty good I didn't really do a whole lot I went to Dave and Buster's On Friday And that's really about it That shit lit right It was fun It was cool Well we just drank and shit We just chilled Had some drinks and Played a few of the games And then Left and then I went home. Is it? You sure? <laughs> yeah. you, don't, you don't sound too sure. Nah. N- n- yeah. I'm sure. That's, 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 <laughs> what I'm that's what you're telling us. Okay, cool. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no I went home. I definitely went home. Okay, cool. I definitely didn't stay that long. Not. Yeah, no. Nah, it's fine. Okay. Bob Alive. <clears throat> yeah. How you been, man? All right. Everything good? Yeah. But you, finally, you finally moved in? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Caught up on a lot of shit. You did. Yeah. Did you watch the boys? Yeah. You liked it? It was funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that shit. That shit. That shit. Wild. Yeah. That shit. When he fucking this, this this thing got his gills touched. Yeah. He's like. He's like. Touch. It hurts. <laughs> yeah, that shit kind of hurt me. I was like. <laughs> I know. It was mad. Yeah. It comes. I was like, damn. <laughs> what you think of it though? Like, what's your what's your take on it? I know. I know. <laughs> motherfuckers asking like, yo, wait till Bobby see it. <laughs> it's on like, some shit. I mean, I'm used to Rick and Morty and shit like that because that's what I get for it. I get, I, I get a lot of Rick and Morty shit. A lot of like, it's like South Park comedy. Yeah, yeah, like it, it definitely be stretching shit. Yeah, that's like yo, this this shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> this, this shit is funny, shit. man. Fucking nuts, nigga. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's cool. How about you? How was your uh, weekend? My weekend, I had a pretty good weekend. Had a great weekend. I was off of work. Word. That's for one. Uh, shout out to Connecticut Office of the Arts. Shout out to Bria Simone. Shout out to Adrian Jefferson. Uh, I went there to host a panel uh, with si- well, with five other creatives. It was six of us in total. <clears throat> and it was a creatives conversation. You know, we had a, I moderated the panel. We had a live audience. And, you know, we was just talking about what we can do for the state of Connecticut as far as creatives what we can do better, what we can do without, um, you know, just trying to get answers to a lot of questions that we have. So, you know, honored to uh, have done that. That's what's up. Felt uh, really inspired after that. And it kind of solidifies something for me. What? <clears throat> this nine to five shit is for the birds. Nigga. Oh, yeah. I've been saying that for a little <laughs> My long. nigga, I'm, no, it, I was oh, like 92% there where I was like, yeah, I don't know. But, you know, if, it, if all else feels like I got something to fall back on, this nine to five shit. Not for me, nigga. Yeah. It's over. I made in an hour what I would have made eight hours working at a job. Yep. This shit is for the birds, my nigga. <laughs> when I tell you, I looked at my check, I was like, hmm. oh, this I, is what niggas be talking about when they be I like, get it now. I get it now. So I was like, it just, it, 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 it just cemented something for me. It was like, yeah, I, I know I can't quit my job as of yet because most, most of y'all niggas be like, yo, quit your job and go on your own journey and find what you really want to do. You can't just quit on a whim, nigga. No, you cannot. Yeah, you can't. You got to have an actual stash. plan. Have a plan, save up, and yeah. then, you know, yeah. take that leap of faith. And I think that's what I'm going to do in like the next year or so because this shit ain't it, nigga. And that, when I tell you, yo, I worked an hour, <laughs> <laughs> looked at that check and said, oh, oh. A hundred percent. Like, Imagine like, if I did this. Nigga, it downloaded. Four more times. The yeah. download completed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nigga, what? Mm. I get this, but only doing this? this? Yo, I didn't have to lift nothing. <laughs> I didn't have mm. to like walk nowhere. It was just like, yo, introduce the people, sit in the seat, ask questions. I do it here. Yeah. yeah. For free. Well, not free, but you know what I mean? For deficit. But I don't make shit when I do it here. <laughs> yeah, for deficit. <laughs> for deficit. <laughs> when I do it here, I don't get nothing from it. I actually did that shit. Something for the state. And got paid for it. That's what's up. 
Nigga, what? Yo, t- give me a year. Do it. Oh, mm. t- what? Quit. I ain't, I ain't even giving niggas like two weeks. So I'm, I'm like, just not yeah. coming back. <laughs> Whatever day I don't feel like coming in, I'm just not coming in. So, <laughs> like, y'all get y'all shit when y'all get y'all shit. But, word. But, the, but the conference was dope, though. I got a lot of information. Um, connected with a lot of people. It was weird. Like, it's like mm-hmm. I was on a panel, right? And mm-hmm. then people was coming up to me for information after. I'm like, yo, that's weird. I mean, you've been doing this thing for a minute now. Nah, right? but it's like. I, I can imagine how like celebrities feel type oh, of shit yeah. where it's like niggas coming up and like, yo, my name is such and such. I do this. I was like, yo, I can't do shit for you. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yo, Yet. continue talking. <laughs> and then Yet. they do like, yo, let me get your information. You know, I want to work with you. I want to connect with you on this, that, and the third. I'm like, and that's not even true. You might be able okay. to do stuff for him. Maybe not might, on a grand scale, but you yeah, can, you but know what I mean? I, it just felt weird though. It was like, Connecting to the right people. Hey, to look at me. You need someone to record. Mm-hmm. Got you know, you know, G. Now they yeah. got a place to record. Like it's even simple shit like that. Yeah, I can do simple shit like yeah. that. You know, I talk, start somewhere. I talked to uh, what's his face, the uh, program director for Hot Nine Three Seven. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to have. I'm trying to get all them niggas fired. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but I, I, just, I just want to talk to him. I just want to have a <laughs> conversation with him. Yeah, I just want to talk. I just want to have a conversation with him. Tell you all your niggas is garbage. And <laughs> <laughs> let me. Well, not. <laughs> Things y'all can change. <laughs> Not gonna call you a garbage, but thing things y'all can do different. Yeah. And then um, you know, I, I got a lot of musical information and you know, just industry information. You know, it was a it was, it was a good panel. So yeah. that's what's up. Again, shout out to uh Connecticut Office of the Arts. Yeah, Connecticut is really small. It is, it's not a I, lot of I know Desi. Oh, you do? I went to school with her. Oh word, yeah. She mm-hmm. was a, she was on the panel. She's a she's a hippie of sorts, like a natural healer or whatever the fuck. And she has this yeah. thing called Inspire Her TV. Yeah. So, you know, I'm going to try to have them on my show so guys, so so we can talk more about that stuff. That's what's up. But uh yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a good time. Networking. A lot of a lot of black faces like like you was talking about with Ho- with Howard. Mm-hmm. A lot of blackness. Black on black love. Yeah, you know. But, you know, all in all a good weekend. Na- now I'm here. Doing what I like to do. <laughs> word. So about fuck work. <laughs> <laughs> so uh <laughs> let's see. SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, YouTube, iHeartRadio, wherever the fuck you get your podcast, we are there. Three ninjas podcast at gmail.com. For any comments, questions, or concerns, if you want your question answered in the Ask a Ninja segment, you can reach us there. That's three ninjas podcast.com. Also three ninjas podcast.com, patreon.com slash the number three ninjas podcast. Also, shout out to everyone that bought merch. Back. Um, you the real MVP. I sent that shit out. So, yeah, I should be getting it by the time this episode airs. Or the I know next James day. got his because he sent me. Yeah, his James stuff. got his so. and like a couple other people got this shit. But, you know, take a picture in the merch. Send, send us a, a photo, you know. Yeah. Woo. Appreciate y'all for uh, Post buying on, the shit. On the Grizzly Am so we can, you know, show it off to other motherfuckers. So they yeah, can appreciate buy shit y'all too. for buying and supporting. And, Facts. you know. Yo, you know, you drink Kool Aid at the bottom. <clears throat> it's mad sugary. Yeah. Yo, this shit's mad potent at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a concentrated fucking poison, yeah, nigga. This shit just hit me. I was like, it's oh. Because sur- it's whiskey rock, nigga. I wish the whole bottle tastes like that. Nigga, that shit been sitting there aging. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know, right? It's been <laughs> sitting in the cast glass. It should be sitting in here. Sitting in the heat. Just fucking boiling the robo flavors. Yeah, fermenting. Oh, God so. touched that little bottle. Was like, <laughs> Don't say nothing crazy. <laughs> no, nah, say everything crazy. No, it's about that time mm. we might have a guest on, so you gotta relax. <laughs> well, he gotta do it, so I can mm-hmm. can't because I can't do it. Okay, I, I gotta try to behave this episode. Please do. I'm trying. Well, oh, I'm because yeah. I said I would. So I'm trying my so. best. You should behave every fucking episode. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so hash. <laughs> 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 what questions we got, man? <laughs> All right, so uh, I think we'll do this one first because it's easy to answer. It was a quicker. Yeah, so excuse me. This question comes from Dominican Cal- Dominican Khaled, I believe. And his question was it was just a simple question for us. It was like, Hey, I, I want to ask y'all something. I know y'all talk brief about it, but how come you guys don't review uh shows like Arrow and Flash? Is it because y'all are not into Arrow and Flash or is it because it's not enough time to watch all those shows? Uh, uh the second one. It's just not <laughs> like it's not, it's not a lot of time. It's not a lot of time <laughs> to watch all these shows because if we want to watch first, we gotta watch shit that we deem necessary that like most people watch and we yeah. try to review it on the show mm-hmm. yeah then it's like you got that leisure time where it's like i want to watch what i want to watch my yeah. favorite shit maybe some shit i need to catch up on maybe some shit that's you know it's in, in, and it's like third or fourth season i'm still and i'm still on season fucking one <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's, it's that shit and then you know having a nine to five having a personal life and it's <clears> like <throat> yeah we just can't watch all these shows or review all these shows so yeah. like, some some gotta get cut and you know you got other podcasts to, to listen to where they review flash and the arrow and other cw shows or just other superhero shows in general 
but it's just us. You know, that's not on the top of our priority list of things to review. Um, I, don't, I ain't gonna lie. I think it's just one of those things where they know there's other podcasts out there, but they just like how we do it. That probably, <laughs> but it's just the fact that you know, like I said, I just don't be having the time because it's like I don't want to be watching shit for the fact of reviewing it. I want to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. And I just don't be wanting to watch shit sometimes. Like sometimes I, I just be going home, going to sleep. That's all I I'll be do. like, you know, like <laughs> like I like I'll put some on knowing to go to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Yo, yeah, no, I be doing that shit all the time. I put some on knowing I'm not going to watch. I'm gonna pay, actually paying attention to it, nigga. I'll put some on subbed and be like i know i'm not reading this shit that's, that's why that's why i don't even watch the anime no more because i be i that's how i watch tv in bed it's, it's bad like i watch yeah. tv while i'm in bed mm. so i don't necessarily pay the greatest attention to everything i'm watching so i don't watch any, shit eight yeah, times yeah so yeah. i don't watch fucking anime because a lot of it is like so sub and i'm like i can't uh understand japanese yeah so yeah. it's like i don't like want most just, of us yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so i don't want just to know i mean i want to actually kind of put it's like if you, you close your eyes you can kind of follow what's going yeah, on yeah, yeah, right? yeah but if it's in japanese i don't know, yeah, like, I don't know. know. <laughs> but yeah out of the three of us i'm sure i think i'm the one who um watches like arrow and flash the most and even and even i'm fucking i stopped after like episode six last season Shit. so i'm like mad behind i used to <clears> after the whole uh what was it i, I was watching flash though after Barry fought his doppelganger. Remember that? No. no oh, he, he, was oh, like, he was like the speed god. Oh, yeah. That was like two. That was like See last season. I mean? season I mean? Yeah, that was, like, that was, like, that was like season three-ish. Yeah. It's that and it's, it's way too many shows to be reviewed. <clears throat> but yeah, man. I do want to get caught up and, I'm, and I want to watch it, especially because I know Arrow's ending this season and they got the crisis on Infinite Earth shit coming on and that's going to be fucking crazy. But yeah. um, I don't know. Yeah, it's hard. It's like... The older you get, if this is my job. Job, I do it exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like if, if uh, like this is our job. Yeah, job. yeah. it's like <laughs> I, I got, I got to be sad at home, so I ain't got time to watch TV. I got to yeah. play in bed. Got to be sad at <laughs> watch, home. Listen to music. I ain't got time to watch. Oh, no, let me stop. But no, nah, it's like if yeah. I had, if there wasn't other shit that I was having to do, like I'd probably try to make more time to like actually watch it. But like I do make sure to watch Black Lightning because we talk about it, and then when other shit is coming on, I get to when I get to it. Yeah, so if if y'all oh. want us to review specific shows, let us know what shows you want us to review because we just be reviewing shit that we like. It was like, yeah. yo, this shit came out. Yeah. We gonna watch it? And niggas yeah. be like, all right, cool. <laughs> exactly. But like, you know, this show is for y'all. So what do y'all want us to review? Make sure y'all send us an email because that Instagram DM gets kind of convoluted and, you know, shit gets lost. Shit, in the shit, gets, shit gets lost. So if you send yeah. us an email, we got shit in order because we don't get that many emails. Yeah. So make sure you do that. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Dominic Khaled. What's the other question we got? This other question, and I believe this one comes from Torrance. Shout out to Torrance. T Buggy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it goes a little something like this. Hey ninjas, I know you saw the. Le- <laughs> Why? You <have> that? <laughs> Why? You know, ask for. Yeah, what's the question, B? <laughs> I don't know. All right, anyway, he goes, hey, ninjas, I know you saw the list of the top 50 rappers that had Joe Button at number three. That that list was, as Hesh would say, Basuda. <laughs> um, who are your top 10 MCs, and do you think there should have been a female rappers on the list? Love the show. Hesh, please stop acting crazy. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> I'm tired of being attacked. I didn't even do anything. Discount what just happened when I tried to start reading the question. Pretend that didn't happen. I'm going to just act uh, ignorant. Okay. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm um, fucking crazy. Our uh, <laughs> top 10 rappers. Um, yeah, that, that list was kind of like. I think another podcast had made that list and the yeah. shit just went viral. Um, yeah. It, yeah, is, it is. We don't know the criteria of that list. It's just based on basically what they like and what they... I, I think it's I'm two hosts or one host, and it's like yeah. what they agreed upon and like the kind of music that they like. Um, you know, that list was Basuda. <laughs> um, should there be females on the top 50 list? Of course. Sure. Top 50, mm-hmm. yes. Um, in my top 10, are there any females? No. I don't think so, yeah, no. Um, <clears throat> my top 10 list... I'm talking about my personal preference of what I prefer to listen to. Uh, yeah, if, mm-hmm. if, if we go on by... We're not talking about like the best. Yeah, yeah okay. if, if we go on by like what do we think are the top 10 rappers versus our personal favorite top 10 rappers, that's a whole different Difference, list yeah. of conversation. Mm-hmm. But um, off the top of my head, uh, Method Man's my favorite rapper. So it, this is in no particular order, but that's my favorite rapper. Uh, Hove, Big, uh, Andre 3000. That's four. Uh, 
Scarface, Eminem. Eminem's on my list, even though he's been pissing me off lately, but he's still on my list. <laughs> yeah. Um, Boy, like how six or five? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to name 10 off the top. Yeah, it's hard to name 10 off the top. Scarface. Uh, like, when I when I think of my top 10 list, it's like, yo, when I hear this person puts out a song, like, I drop everything I'm doing. Like, listen to it. Uh, yeah. Um, no Lupe? Nah, I don't I don't drop what I'm doing for Lupe. Lupe be having too many words. Like, I don't like to learn. Wolf Spirit, Dog Spirit, <laughs> nigga. He made Mural. Yeah, he, yeah. he did make Mural. <laughs> like, it's, it's a hard ass song, but it's like, <laughs> it'd be a lot of words, and then you gotta, like, like, you gotta actually like sit down and listen, listen to it. Like I, no. I need shit that I could be like doing something and still catch the gist of it. Uh, mm-hmm. Fab? Yeah. Hell no, Fab ain't in my top ten. I fuck with Fab. Jada, Jada's in my top ten. Uh, Why you fuck with Jada and not Fab? Cause Jada better than Fab. Jada, exactly. Yeah, I know, but you got a top ten. You gotta be somewhere in there. I mean, yo, you're Fab. I mean, and, and, and that, who the next Raz be? And, and, and don't get me wrong, Fab is funny. Fab is nice. Yeah, Fab yeah, is nice, nice but, but he's he's not in my top ten. <laughs> exactly. Uh, in my top, and this might be like East Coast bias, like in that. He, why he, I throw up a West Side? He, why I do this? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but Fab might be in my top 40, 35 maybe. I, I, I can name 35 rappers I like better than Fab. Mm. But if we're doing like a list of who are the best rappers with actual criteria, I don't think he cracks the top 45. Um, That's like what, eight? Yeah. Uh, Styles? Nah, he ain't in my top 10. Mm-hmm. Uh. Mm-hmm. Tr- 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 I really like Big Crit, yo. Big Crit? Yeah. Yeah. Um, nice. And, um... Kendrick. My pray for me. Might, might have to go with that. Because any time that mm-hmm. K-Dot drop a song, I'm like, yo, what the fuck's going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Run to my phone, listen to the shit. And Drake, yo, Drake might be somewhere in my top 10, too. I really love Drake. Yeah, yeah that's possible. <laughs> yeah, that nigga's, that nigga's climbing that, that chart. I don't, I don't care about the, you know, he don't write his shit. Everybody don't write this shit. You know, you can always tell if he don't if he wrote it by if he if he say some miscellaneous shit, you don't know what the fuck about. Yeah, like <laughs> like so, 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 I don't know what you're talking so, so, about. So, so, <laughs> talk about some chick from Peach Street or some yeah, shit. Right? <laughs> like, yeah, Shout out Drake, to Bri- 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 Drake, Drake, we don't know her. Shout out to the chick that used to work at Hooters. Okay, uh, all right, you wrote that. Damn, what's she working at Hooters? Some chick that worked at Hooters or some shit like that? Yeah. Hooters? Yeah, I think it was Hooters. Well, was just, Shout anyway. out to the chick that made my flies at Kinko's. But what's what's your, what's your uh, top list? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can, y'all can do top there. five. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, I might have. To, I don't you know so if I, I don't know if I can get ten. Yeah. So in no particular order, and these are not. I'm not saying like these are the best rappers in the world, but these are my favorite. Yeah. Um, for me, Joe Button is obviously on the list for me. Mm-hmm. Um, because you said facts. <laughs> Kellerman, uh, Young Wasalu was up there. Okay. Lupe, um, Jay, Pun. Oh yeah, how the fuck I forget pun. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But it's no, go ahead. Yeah, Biggie. And then Jada's up there. Mm-hmm. That's five. Yeah, that was six. Mm-hmm. Are you are you doing ten? I'm gonna try to get to ten if I can. I know I know it's gonna be somebody when I leave, I'm be like, oh I meant to finish it. Yeah. I don't know. We'll do six. If I think the other thing. <laughs> they got a top six. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> got a top six. <laughs> what you yeah, bubble out? Um uh, favorites, right? I guess, yeah. You oh, would, Eminem. Right. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Your top. Uh, Eminem, Jadakiss, Big. <sighs> Fuck. It gets hard when it gets to that. Uh, let me see. I know. <laughs> it's, it's so yeah. hard because it's so many. Yeah, I know. It's um, so many fucking rappers. It's right? like, yo, who do I really yeah, like? Yeah, yeah. I fuck with Lupe, though. I fuck with Lupe. Yeah, Lupe, Lupe's Lupe bar you to death, my nigga. And and that, that's not me saying Lupe ain't nice. Oh, no, he yeah. nice. Lupe a bar, damn near everybody on that yeah, list. But yeah, I'm like, yeah. he's not in my. He's nicer like, than your favorite rapper, nigga. Let me yeah, tell you, yeah, yeah. it's, it's not. There. It's not. Yo, I'm throwing on a, a Lupe album just cause. Like, I mean, right. I do, but um, going too soon. Fucking stack bundles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. squad up. That yeah. was my nigga. Yo. <laughs> yo, when I tell you, I was sad. Like for like a week when he died, yeah. I was like hurt, and I didn't even know that nigga. <laughs> yeah, shit, fuck that. Damn, it's hard to get there. I know. Oh, Fab. I like Fab. Fab. And I got a bunch of like honorable mention niggas too. Like, yeah, I got a yeah. bunch of those. Um, Red Man. <laughs> <laughs> you playing Red Man? <laughs> uh, what's that? 
Seven? I think that's seven. All right, almost there. Yeah, I say Jay. I say Jay. No, Jay, nice. But I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Like Jay, it, it, it seems I, like some of the shit now is kind of watered down. Or he to what old. it used to be. Yeah. Mm, he trying to My be nigga, socially he conscious. Had, his catalog is stupid. Yeah, <laughs> like, no. I, if you taking it from reasonable doubt to four, four, four. Yeah. Plus, 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 he married to Beyonce. So it it's matter. just content. Yeah. <laughs> like you. <laughs> Like it's impossible for niggas to have the same content throughout the years and it still be good. Yeah, who's yeah. who who been rapping since as long as Jay's been rapping that's still really relevant. Like, and you yeah, can't keep yeah, the same yeah. content and knowing like, yo, you worth a billion dollars. Niggas know you ain't selling cocaine, right. you ain't shooting people, <laughs> you ain't in the club <laughs> popping bottles. You own the bottle company. You might own that club. Like <laughs> niggas know you ain't doing all this other shit. Other niggas can rap about that shit because it sounds nice and we think they might be doing it on their off time. But right. with Jay, it just don't sound right. Like so this you, nigga talk about paintings he own. You tell me push ain't still selling that way <laughs> but selling push that way. but push has that like he has to like he's at the point where he has to do that i mean he don't ha- i mean right. i guess but because <laughs> if you were i mean on that same brick for 45 push, years again. push push done uh and shout out to push because push is nice i'm not does nice as yeah. fuck yeah, uh no, what's push, that genre jumping. of music that i can't think of when niggas do- cocaine rap no cocaine rap <laughs> like the extra fist pumped edm oh edm, EDM? he do he, he he has done some EDM shit. Yeah, he has he has the versatility to do it, but it's just like niggas love push for the coke rap. That's like like mm-hmm. like like we go to certain rappers for, for certain, certain shit. You right? So yeah, you like, right. To actually like like if push put out a conscious album, like what the fuck wrong with you? <laughs> why you why you being malice, nigga? Yeah, go back. You, nigga, you ain't malice. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't no malice. Nigga, go back to go back to being push, nigga. But uh, right, two more. Put some niggas in my era. Uh, J Cole and Drake. Yeah, I do like Cole. I like J. Cole. I didn't know if I'm going to put him on my list. Yo, like I don't that. be I liking like J. Cole as much as niggas like J. Cole. I be like, J. Yo, Cole be rapping his ass off, do. dog. He be saying a lot of bullshit, too. He be rapping his ass off when he don't. He, he speaks from experience. That's what I yeah. like. I like, I like hearing This nigga story. be rapping. I don't know. I don't know what you consider bullshit, but that nigga be rapping his ass he off. He be saying, like, he, he just be saying some bullshit sometimes. I'd be like, yo, I don't get why as a rapper you would say that line or put that he, bar in there. Try to educate you and teach you to go to college yeah. and don't say much. You don't want to be saved. I mostly like him because he speaks from experience. I remember he said some shit. First things first recipes, Uncle Phil, nigga. Yeah, for real. For real. <laughs> <laughs> I think on his first album, he said something like, niggas think they the shit, but they can't out fart me. I was like, nigga, what? <laughs> yeah, they can't out fart that nigga. So you, yeah, you fart when you shit. Okay, that's that's, 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 like, that's, that's fucking whack. <laughs> <laughs> Look, don't try to so just so so gonna, so gonna tell me every rapper ain't never had no, no wack every, line? No, no, every rapper has had a wack line. Right, per- so let that slide. Biggie done said some wild shit. Said, Hold done like said some wild shit. Yeah. Hold done said some wild shit. Jada done said some wild shit. Eminem, no question. Has definitely said some boxing <laughs> shit. No, I'm, Meth has probably said some corny shit, but All right, so I don't know. Let, just, Cole, let Cole have some corny shit for me. I, I'm not saying I don't like Jake. <laughs> I can't get my paint on this. <laughs> no, you can. I'm just saying. You don't like Kevin Hart, J. Cole, or Michael B. Jordan. Drake, Drake I mean, said some. <laughs> Drake, Drake said some wack shit before. Of course, has- he said he said my flow is hot and is heavy like a wet sponge. <laughs> I didn't have you like what's happening? No, nah, but it, yo, it was a good three year like <laughs> going where Drake said no, no whack, no whack, yeah. no whack shit. Yeah. I was like, this is before your side does up. Yeah, I mean, it is what <laughs> it is. Listen, Little Wayne rapped the alphabet in the, in the track. <laughs> oh, I forgot about oh, Lil yeah, Wayne. Oh, he God did. Damn. Literally said the alphabet. Yeah. Hey, A B C, C D E F. I was, I was like, like, all right, nigga, get that. You got that. You got that. But H I J K L M N O P. Yeah, he did. Damn. Oh my god! So look, sometimes your favorite rapper got whack lines. <laughs> you right. That being said, I don't even know where I was going. Let's see who's coming. But thank you, Terrence. Yeah, facts for the question. So uh, we ain't got <laughs> shit to review. So let's get into these motherfucking topics. Mm-hmm. So Hobbs and Shaw passes four hundred million worldwide. Somebody mm-hmm. go check on Tyrese. <laughs> Yo, Tyrese. <laughs> Like I told y'all niggas so weird piss. He wrote that whole dissertation of like yeah. why you should be mad or like like I guess it didn't do like good first week sales. Yeah. It, it was didn't like 86. Like, but something like that. But it's still good. Compared to I it's still good. Because it, it didn't do like crazy because like I think the last one uh like, Fast Furious movie made like a billion dollars. It's not gonna do fast numbers. Yeah, exactly. So it's I don't know. What, yeah, he's talking all that relax, shit man. and it's like relax, nigga. It's like <laughs> it still did it really good. It just didn't do fucking. I think Tyrese was just, just looking mad. for something to like point at, like, ha ha. Like, you didn't much. make as much as fast. And watch the and watch when this next one don't make as much money. Then what? Then because we, they might be fatigued too. Because you don't you don't even know. Yeah. They and, got eight movies so far. But if 
they doing contract negotiations and you got to pick between I can't work on set with that nigga and it's like if I got to choose between The Rock and Tyrese <laughs> oh, rock. Sweet Lady got go <laughs> Yo, what, what, what is this thing going around that Vin Diesel has a problem with The Rock they have a problem they do have the a problem the last movie they didn't film Vin, any scenes together but Vin Diesel he's a part of the Fast Furious franchise does he, yes. does he own some of it he's a producer yes. oh so yeah, yeah. But, which is why they, they, who are you going to choose The Rock or Tyrese The Rock, rock. If, if you're Vin Diesel, oh, if you're Vin Diesel, if you're, Diesel, you're, Diesel, if you're Vin Diesel, I don't know if he's an. Ex- I don't know if he's like a sole producer. I don't know if he can like. But, he's a he's but a, you can't. Yeah, but like, you can't take this. Sh- I think but, he owns it. Some some of it. But if, if we talking about business, yeah, yeah. you got to separate the personal from the business. Oh no, yeah. you don't. <laughs> you you kind of do. <laughs> the last movie they filmed no scenes together. That's great. Rock and Vin Diesel. They 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 angled it so that they were never actually in the same scene together. Like actual face to face oh they did some Martin Gina shit yeah so the nigga would talk <laughs> and they'll angle it and they'll oh. fucking flip it over and put the other people on the other side and then the nigga would talk and make it connected so that like it was in the same scene together it was never actually in the same scene together the niggas do not like each other how yeah, petty do you gotta be to do that super like? petty I mean but you gotta make it work it's Just like yo nigga. I don't understand that nah, nah, I'm swinging on nah. that That'll, I want to see that fight actually <laughs> me but, too well but, Rock gonna fuck him up what are you talking about oh yeah Rock does steroids yeah <laughs> I love the rock. He's a cool dude. He don't t- tell me that nigga not on steroids. I don't know what he's. I don't on. know, but like he just might be in a hard. That nigga jerk injects like horse fucking something right in his neck. Nigga. <laughs> I don't high carb diet. I don't know. Ah, you right. I'm fat. I don't work out. So you right. Know, I don't man. This nigga eat a lot. Yeah, the nigga eat a lot of, uh, a lot of bullshit and work out all the time. Hey, man, all them damn pancakes going somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, making pancakes. Making pancakes. Making pancakes. pancakes. <laughs> Put ah, the right. steroid in a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> Get the human growth <laughs> ceremony or some shit. Man. Steroid pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think Hobbs and Shaw might get a sequel. Because it's doing so yeah, good. Yeah. But um, is that going to interfere with the Fast franchise? Probably nah. not. Will Will The Rock be in the Fast franchise still? Probably, Probably not. not. I don't know. I, think I they, mean, he could be. It's not like they don't need to write him out. Just they don't need a spinoff. To. I mean, but the purpose <laughs> of a spinoff is to I think they, you your own yeah. shit with yeah, the same they gave, world. I think they gave him a spinoff because he don't fuck with Vin Diesel. And he, but his character is popular and it's The Rock. And it's like, we can make some I money. think it's more popular than that. I don't fuck with this nigga. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I think I don't. I don't, I don't know for a fact. I'm just saying. I think, mm-hmm. but who knows? Who cares? The Rock is rich. That's everybody, crazy. everybody, we talking about is rich. Yeah, and they both got their own fucking production companies. Who cares? Hey, just go, go make your own shit. Kevin Hart cares. <sighs> That's so <a> movie pass. <laughs> <laughs> movie pass changed users' passwords so they couldn't use it. That's fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, your password was wrong. Yo, this, this is my password. No, movie, it's, it's wrong. movie pass is the best thing that never, never happened. Was, yo. Huh. Damn. Yo, when I was using this shit when it first came out, I was seeing movies every day. Like, I got out of work and went to go see a movie. I ain't gonna fuck if I ain't like it or not. I just yeah. knew I wasn't paying for it. Pay for it. It was like, yeah, I paid a subscription. The money come off the card. I go watch the movie. Cool. Then niggas started getting up on, on movie pass. It's like, yo, you can't watch uh, premiere movies like the, like the week, the week it come yeah. out. Uh. I was like, all right, so I don't want this shit. Then them niggas send me an email like every month, like, you sure you want to discontinue this shit? <laughs> like, yes. You know, we, we're going to lower the price. You sure you want to come back? I'm like, nah, nigga, I'm good. If y'all can't give me the same shit I had before, I don't want it. <laughs> but them niggas changing passwords so niggas can't <laughs> use it. <laughs> but they had a problem before where they was running out of money. And that was a whole yeah. issue before. It was like, yeah, we can't let y'all see movies when it premieres because, you know, everybody's going to go see this shit and we're running out of money. I mm. didn't know it worked. Like, I didn't know how this shit worked, honestly. But now that I know it's coming from like a whole allotment of money, it was like, Y'all niggas can't be using this shit like y'all like y'all want. <laughs> Here's our budget. <laughs> Every time you go, we just dwindle out some money from yeah, it. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, shout out to Movie Pass for, for the fucking undercut and shit. It was like, yo, we're gonna change a few passwords. A couple hundred million people can't use this shit, or a couple million people can't use this shit. <laughs> That's crazy. And we gonna let y'all do it like, oh, we just had a, a system glitch and somebody rat somebody had to rat them niggas out. Oh, of course. Oh man. <laughs> like, yo, them a niggas former, over there changed the passwords. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm telling you. Yeah. The passwords. <laughs> Whole state of Montana can't go to the movies. <laughs> Montana. Yeah. That's fucked up. That is fucked up, but what you gonna do? The state company, they got the they got the kill switch to shit. It was like, yo, let's shut down Hawaii, New Mexico, Dallas. Let's shut down all that shit. Because they're hemorrhaging money and they're trying to find a way to keep from spending money. So if nobody can actually mm. use well, the find account. Some fucking investors. Who's gonna invest in that if they die? <laughs> some yo, somebody 
they they find people to do to invest in in the dying businesses all the time, and they revitalize them, they rebrand them, they do all this wild shit. Just find somebody to invest in this shit. Find find like a face of the company. If you got a shit called if you got some shit called Movie Pass, get a movie star. Get somebody to endorse the shit. Nah. Get them to invest in this shit. Get the rock because they probably don't like it because it probably means they get less money somehow. I'm sure. So that's probably why there aren't any movie stars endorsing it. Movie Pass. I'm sure there's maybe because I don't know why. I'm just saying. I mean, maybe it does kind of cut down on tickets sale. or something. Yeah, like I think it depends on how many subscriptions you got. I don't think they had enough subscriptions to oh, no. pay for the drawback. It's kind of like Planet Fitness, right? That mm-hmm. shit is only ten dollars, but a lot of people don't go to the gym, but they still They'll pay. charge yeah. the card. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of like that. But for this, but the difference between that is that like people are going to the movie, so they're actually yeah, spending. They're that's spending what fucked them up. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas actually going to them shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, they had my money. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so whatever they did with that, I don't know. Because it was like we were saying that this this billion dollar thing is 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 new so everybody's going to the movies more frequently than before than like what five years ago yeah. when people go to movies it's, it's a funny thing they go less and more five I years think, ago it wasn't like this though they go they go to big temple stuff yeah way more so those make a lot more money mm-hmm. but if you're not like a superhero movie or some big blockbuster then a lot of people aren't really gonna go see it like so, before the before the marvel craze it was the fast and furious shit yeah like yeah. everybody was going to see that shit was like a fucking event yeah, that I was, want to see Fast. That was a fucking holiday. Oh uh, yeah, because them shit's always Look, Fast Furious out. Them shit's always dropped near like Memorial Day, the Fourth of July, or something yeah. like that. It was or like Puerto Ricans with their souped up cars coming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> going yeah, to the McDonald's go. parking lot. Yo, it's see, we gonna go over yeah, here. Yeah, we gonna do that. We gonna ride. Yeah, they got that V twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Speed, I'm, doom, doom. I'm not participating. Okay, okay. Yeah, sh- I'm sorry. <laughs> Shout out to the Vatos, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Vatos and Puerto Ricans ain't like the same thing. I'm it's not. It's, I know. It's Mexicans. Okay, cool. Hey, there's Vatos with suit up cars. No, you're right. I'm just. Mexicans I'm, with suit up cars? Yeah. But, okay, never mind. Cool. Nope. Whatever he's going to say, yeah, don't nope. say it. No, nah, I'm chilling. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Euphoria hits uh, ratings high with one with the season one finale. I got to see that. I haven't seen it's, Euphoria yet. <clears throat> it's interesting. As I you heard it's like kids. Hmm? It's, it's it's like a, a series of kids, oh, yeah. like the movie They're kids. Really, yeah, 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 like that. It's, 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 it's like yeah. it's like an updated version of kids. Yeah, it's like it's a lot. It's 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 a lot. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot to take <laughs> in. With, so this is some stuff that happens in the show. It's wild. It's a little. It's, it's intriguing. But it also make makes me scared of what like teenagers are like susceptible to now and like type the type of shit that oh, happens. Mad drugs to them. and sex. It's like drugs, <laughs> sex, and you sex. got social media, and you got you know older men trying to talk to younger girls and mm-hmm. pimps mm-hmm. and prostitution and mm-hmm. drugs and ODing and mm-hmm. just normal depression anxiety mm-hmm. and shit mm-hmm. so it's like it's a, it's a real all teenage that. story it's all that of like not middle America but like where yeah. does it take place in? Uh, I think it's somewhere in California <clears throat> it's just a bunch of kids in, in high school and they doing drugs one trying, ch- trying to find themselves pretty much one chick OD'd recently and then she hey. came back to life and then what <sighs> she didn't die. Oh, okay. I'm just joking, but like, so she <laughs> well, I mean, she OD'd in the general nar- hospital. Nigga? <laughs> they they narcanned her. Well, you can OD and live. Nigga. <laughs> so they they, nar- nar- they narcanned her back to life, yeah. and um, so she's an addict. So she's coming back, and like basically, when she comes back, she meets this chick, and this chick is on like grinder and shit, finding dudes and like <laughs> grinder or whatever. Ain't grinder the gay app? Yeah. <sighs> So I don't even know if it's actually grinder, but she she is a um, transgender. She's a transgender um, individual. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, and then so I mean I got no spoilers for the show, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and then like she has sex with some old dude. This mm-hmm. old dude happens to be one of the dude's <laughs> fathers. Dang. And like since the dude was a kid, he found his father's pornos. And the father be recording himself beating it down on some dude. <laughs> And then, so this dude's like sexually confused, but he don't know what he's doing. So I don't know if the dude gay or not. Do I like this or don't I? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yo. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm saying. I'm dead, like, it's like, so it's, it's mad intriguing. Uh, and there's some other chick, you know, having sex, getting pregnant. And then this other chick is like trying to get sexual attention. So she like filming herself and putting on like Pornhub type of like right, mistress nigga, type I want to watch it, nigga. Uh, Relax, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> you wild. sold this already. Yeah, it's wild, nigga. Yo, quick question to, to y'all, right? Have y'all ever watched Too Wong Fu? <laughs> nigga, what yo, the f- yo, yo nah. When I was ten years old, what the fuck nah. happened to Nino Brown, Ghost, and Luigi? Dog. What happened, <laughs> dog? So for the first time ever, I watched Two Wong Fu this weekend. It was at, it's good though. Oh damn, that's your first lie. time seeing it. It's my first time seeing it ever. Oh, for oh, okay, like damn. ever. That's actually good. And the whole time I was looking, at it, I was like, yo, how the fuck did these niggas get away with this shit? <laughs> Not even on, on like they could be 
perceived as gay, but mm-hmm. it was like the way shit is now, if you even hint at something gay, the <laughs> internet tearing you up. How did these niggas get away with this shit dressing as full drag queens in the 90s and they weren't like like bad at the roles <laughs> like yeah. they like they were pretty like convincing especially wesley's like wesley is an ugly yeah. woman <laughs> first of all <laughs> patrick swayze i was like yo he could pass for a woman if he wanted to like, like jala was on real shit no yo. john john was on was like a trashy just like i'm gay and this is how i feel so i'm gonna dress like this but he but yo patrick swayze could dead ass pass for like a woman if he wanted to like if he wanted to go down that road ghost could do the shit <laughs> <laughs> but I was watching that shit and and just like pure amazement. Like my like pause. My mouth was open the whole time. <laughs> I like I was like laughing. <laughs> And I could not believe what I was watching. I was like, yo, how my whole thought process through the whole movie, I was like, yo, this movie ain't that bad. But I was like, yo, how did y'all niggas get away with this shit in the oh, 90s? And Wesley is a God. really ugly woman. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It was, it was just me. <laughs> I mean, I have I watched it when I was young, so it's been a long time since I actually but, seen the film. Okay, I've but, seen it before, but, but it's been a really when long you time. were young, did you know what she was watching? No, when I was young, I didn't know what the fuck. That, I didn't. I didn't know no shit about drag queens and all that other stuff or whatever the appropriate either. term is for but it. I didn't know. Nothing I'm kind of glad I watched it now because it just it it, it put a lot of shit in perspective. <laughs> like I guess, like you can really just play a role. Yeah. And people are like, it's just a role, yeah, but to, a thing. There's an actor. But in today's world, you can't accept a role like that and not be like the talk of the town or some shit. Like, like, like when Brokeback Mountain came out, that was the talk <laughs> of the town, and that movie wasn't even that good. <laughs> it was just the fact that it was two gay cowboys, and it was like, yo, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal they and, and the Heath Ledger. And them gay. It was like, yo, they gay. Cowboys, and it was like <laughs> cowboys, cowboys. <laughs> I, but, I'm gonna but, take my to the You gotta relax. <laughs> but I was watching this shit, and I was like, "Yo, this movie ain't even that good." So what? What was the big hoopla about this movie? <laughs> Just because it was gay. <laughs> I got the horses in the back. We ain't never get another guest on the show again. <laughs> I didn't say nothing this time. I've been good so far. <laughs> I've been fighting myself. Why can't we be civilized human beings? <laughs> <laughs> we are. We just. Nah, but <laughs> a different civilization. It just, but it was just that whole movie was wild. Now, I it mean, was funny though. I haven't seen it, so uh, it's been it's a really on, long time. It's, it's on Netflix. Like the, like the whole thing where um the lady was getting beat up by her her husband. Mm-hmm. He was like, "God damn it, it's still too spicy." <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "You you just you just like making me mad, huh?" <laughs> he jumped at her. That, that's just a good movie. It is, it's a it's a good movie, but I'm just saying I don't think that shit would have flew. <laughs> like now like like you couldn't put out too long food without, without the whole world being like he gay <laughs> you gay <laughs> you always wanted to have this role <laughs> nigga you gay I'm like yo he just playing a role and then it's like I don't nigga, know a man <laughs> <laughs> yo Wesley is a really yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. he's disgustingly ugly I'm like How Jesus you, dog? you did not like the uh, look of West, cause West I, one. cause I love a lot of Wesley Snipes movies, and to see him like that was just like weird. Yeah, like I like I love White Man Can't Jump. Mm. I love Blade. Yeah. I love uh, New Jack City. Blade like, was his redemption. I was like, all right, cool. Man. Okay, we forget yeah. about that. <laughs> cool, mm-hmm. but uh, what the fuck are you talking about? Euphoria. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I gotta watch Euphoria. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's actually. I think it's a actually. Apparently, it's a, it's a great show. Yeah, I think it's actually a pretty good show. It's yeah. just interesting to see. Because a lot of wild shit happens. Just, I imagine. Yeah, and it's just, from what has been described to me, I, yeah. I can tell like a lot of yeah. crazy shit happens. But I want to see it's on. It should be on on demand, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's all done. It's, yeah, it's, it's the season it's over. over. Yeah, so it should be all up there. All right. So uh, speaking of Netflix, uh, Netflix has si- Netflix has signed D and D to a massive deal in the estimated range of two hundred million. Yeah, they chased the bag. What's D and D? Game of those writers. Oh. Mm. Oh, they got Netflix back? Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Netflix is like wilding right now. Because they're definitely losing money and they're spending mad money and they're, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. not making money. I think I'm interested to see what they do next. Obviously, I'm not Fuck quite. Fuck around, be movie pass. <laughs> <laughs> they might, none of you say You might be right. <laughs> um, no, <I hope> not. <laughs> obviously, I wasn't super happy with the way season eight ended. Um, mm. So hopefully, maybe whatever the fuck they're moving on to, they'll care more about. Yeah, I mean, it started. I mean, Game of Thrones started off amazing, and it was amazing for a very long time, and then it kind of just at the end. Yeah. So, hope, so I do have faith in them. So I do think it's cool, and obviously, 
Netflix wants to get some exclusive shit. So whatever they decide to do, though, you know, I'm not even out. mad at them for doing that, though. For making a shitty last season, yeah, I'm not even mad at them because, because now that I think about, it, I would have, I probably would have did the same shit. I would not have. In context, I would have probably did the same shit because you got to think, right? Star Wars is a lot of these geek niggas that that's their first fix yeah. of this shit, like fandom. Yeah, <laughs> that's their first thing. So you got to imagine, like, if it was something that you were doing. And just think of something that's that's your favorite thing to do. If somebody asked you, okay, uh, I know you're doing this, but we want you to do this. Something that you you fucks with. It's like, damn, I'm fucking that shit since a kid. Like, yeah, like, I yeah, but that, mean to, shit. but that doesn't mean you have to make the. That doesn't mean you had to do the other thing that you're doing dirty at the end just because yeah, you got something else. Yeah, but at the same, just think about what they did. They cut their season short because who who knows how many wiggle room they had to actually do this shit to write it. All right, they probably right. had to like just cut this shit short. Like. I had, you know, at least just wrap this shit up and do this because you know this is our childhood. This this is some shit that we grew up on. We love this shit. Let me do this. Yeah, but this also yeah, your career that, and your legacy and your reputation. That that's what I was gonna say. You shouldn't sacrifice your legacy and your reputation for the bag. Like long after you gone, what's your legacy gonna be like? Oh, them niggas shortchanged us because they wanted to go chase a bag. Like that's fucking stupid. Yeah. How so? Then how does Netflix feel? Later on, when they're maybe they might have a chance to get another deal somewhere. Now, what are they going to do? They're going to do the same thing to Netflix or whatever they're doing. They're exactly. going to shortchange them just because now they got another opportunity. I understand maybe like okay, we only have a certain amount of time to do this, but I think they could have tried to. I think they could have done better to try to make season eight better before they moved on to something else. Because yeah. it's a strong possibility that that you can lose them the same way you got them. Max <laughs> Kellerman. So you know, be. Tread lightly with them niggas. <laughs> so, uh, Disney is exploring an Aladdin sequel. Oh, yeah, Bob. <laughs> I mean, it has to be like years and like it has to be with Jafar and his lamp, right? Is it, is they, it gonna, is it gonna be that same shit that I saw with like the return of Jafar? Well, I they hope said, so probably what, what they, what they're saying is it might be a whole new, a whole new thing, a whole new world. Yep. <laughs> 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 Nigga walked right into that one. <laughs> Yeah. But Aladdin's sequel. Yeah, I mean, do you do Return of the Jafar? I didn't watch it, so I don't know if it ended exactly the same way, where he got sucked into the, the uh, yeah, they, yeah, they thing. Did, pause. Yeah, yeah, and then they, okay, yeah, so. <laughs> and then, and then they threw his ass in the, the desert. Yeah. Uh, yeah, space. Yeah, so he can come back and be like, "Ah, oh, you got the infinite cosmos at my fingertips." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yeah but genie's free now, so there's not going to be no genie. Boy, he but came we, back. He's going to be a human though. But he came back. He yeah, got, but he still got the magic though. Yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah, in, in, in the, the, in the, the animated the, movie, yeah, the animated I don't know about that. I think he was a whole human. Oh, he's yeah. a regular ass yeah, human. Yeah, yeah, kids and everything. Well, you can. So, I mean, you can. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think he out of that shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, it's not the same as the uh, the cartoon. He's, he's full it. human. Oh, okay. Yeah, human. Okay. I mean, they could twist some shit. It's not like he got to stay human, or it's like just because he was on a boat don't mean he <laughs> didn't have the magic power. Maybe he just wanted to experience like some human shit with his girl and his kids to make it appear like, oh, I'm doing some human shit, but I could still fuck shit up if I want to. Well, making her have, have orgasms like Bruce somebody. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you can do that too, but you know, you do some other shit. Yeah. Like, yo, yo, ain't no win. We stuck in the sea. <sighs> Push this boat. <laughs> Nigga, I'm genie. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Where am I at? Disney reveals the price for Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus bundle for twelve ninety nine a month. Yeah. Y'all niggas trying to get all the money. Y'all trying to steal everybody's subscription. Y'all trying to make niggas cancel subscriptions. I fuck with this. <laughs> no, it's good because I already Disney, got Hulu. So man, now Disney I can, Plus get, about I can get all over. three of those things. I don't even care about ESPN. So, but. Disney Plus about to take over the Facts. world. Yeah. But when this shit drop, mm-hmm. I want I want to know how many. I want to I want a report to come out of how many subscriptions one streamer service lost and how many Disney picked up. I want mm-hmm. that report because I know niggas is not paying for all these streaming services, all this shit gonna come out the same time every month. It's like, you know what? I'm dropping three of these to get this one Disney shit. Yeah. And then it got everything Disney, which I was talking about what shit I grew up on. Yeah. yeah. This is shit that I, like, yo, Disney got everything mm. that niggas grew up on. They got old uh, Mickey Mouse movies. They got old Disney Channel specials. They got everything. Yeah, like all the original Disney Channel movie, yeah. channel movies. So they're like Brink and... All the other shit. It was a brink. Yeah, whatever the fuck it was. The skating shit. And they're what telling you. Brink! Oh, yeah, my brink, God. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're going to have all that shit out there. Yeah. 
Yo, where did your mind be going, <laughs> Brick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that was like a fucking premiere. It was like, yeah. Brick, 8 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> On Disney. Don't be there. <laughs> and niggas happened? went home and watched that shit like it was fucking Avengers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They had that. They had Johnny Tsunami, all that shit. All yeah. that shit oh, my there. God. Yeah. All that shit's up there. Damn, Gummy. Is oh, Gummy Bears Disney? Gummy? No. I don't know. Gummy Bears. Gummy Bears. Oh, gummy Bears? Yeah. yeah. Bears. That's definitely going to be Duck on there. Bears. Oh, DuckTales. DuckTales. Duck Woo. Nigga, if they have that up there. They have all they that shit. They have all that. They gonna have everything. everything. All things. All things. They got the old Ducktales, the new Ducktales. Yeah. Chippendale oh Rescue God. Rangers. <laughs> oh no, but the, who was that singing at? <laughs> He's going there. <laughs> oh, Doctor Larry. <laughs> I know it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Bob Iger announces uh, reimaginings for Disney Plus. Uh, this includes Home Alone. Boo. A night at the museum. Yeah, All right. Ho- Home Alone doesn't work in the modern day. Yes. So we got uh, th- this Neglecting includes Home kids. Alone, Night at the Museum, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and Cheaper by the Dozen. That's cool. Home Alone does not work. That's an Uber ride away from us f- fixing that problem. <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a series, it's it does not work. Text message away from fixing that problem. You can yeah. email you, Ma, you left me, nigga. I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's it. Oh, the movie's <laughs> over. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was supposed to be like a series. It's supposed to be a, a movie. Yeah, it's a series. Oh, so either way. Yeah. It makes it worse. How, but how you home alone for three days? Dog, like, yeah. I'm trying to imagine because with most shit, I can imagine how it's going to go. I yeah. cannot imagine how you do home alone and so it'd be, it be like the 90s. You could. T- I, mean, let, the only, I mean, the only way it works is, is if he just sleeps until they're in the air <laughs> and then i and, guess and then his his phone is dead <laughs> yeah and then someone breaks in the house and they do some extra wild shit it was like yo we disconnected all the shit we knocking out the wi-fi or something like some wild. definitely just a text message like yo ma you know y'all niggas left me dog <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's it i don't know but i mean fuck it i'm sure to figure it out whatever yeah eh, whatever <laughs> and, and mccully gotta be in it Oh, if he's one of the Is robbers, because he, he got to be either a, of if he's a robber or he one of the parents or the neighbors. Oh, that'd be dope. Yeah, right. he got to be. I'm, McCully, I'm with it now if, if that happens. Yeah, McCully got to be in it. Mad, yeah. mad, strung out, mad coke. He's. I don't even think he's ever been on drugs like that. I swear. He just. Looked he like was. That. Oh. he just looked like that. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I'm pretty sure he was, but it wasn't like. I heard. I heard McCully was on that shit. Oh, well, he <laughs> and Orlando Jones himself is what I'm saying. No, no, oh, he yeah, knew that. No, nah, yeah. something happened to Orlando Jones. Yeah, crap. Like, talk- <laughs> <or whatever. laughs> no, no, something, something happened. Okay, we're not gonna. Do that he this. don't want to talk about. We're not gonna do this. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Oh, like, yeah, yeah something, something happened that he don't, he don't want to talk about. We're not gonna do this stuff. We're not. Gonna so do that we're gonna try to behave. Not even that, but it was like, yeah, Epstein. But why wouldn't you come out about that? If the whole like, it hurts, if, if that's the cool thing to if that's the thing to do now, was to come out and express yourself and call these people out and get these people fired and put this in the forefront. Why is Orlando Jones holding that in? Uh-oh. I mean, I didn't know that happened to him. I'm just saying, I'm assuming that's what he's talking about. Yeah, I mean, no, that's what I'm talking about. It'd be, it'd I don't be, know his life like that, nigga. I mean, you, you can always out niggas now and you'll be looked at as like, oh, such a brave soul. And then we'll get this nigga. And then whoever it was, we need to get him the fuck out of here. Or her. Whoever the fuck it was. Lena Brown. Get him right. the fuck out of here. Yeah. But, okay, moving on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Or 3J. Oh, God. Hmm? Ewan McGregor, <laughs> you didn't McGregor is in talks for an Obi Wan series for Disney Plus. I pull it. I'm with it. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Why is it kind of? <clears throat> I like the idea of it. I think it's very cool. I just I don't know Star Wars. They they I don't know. I fuck with Star Wars. I like Star Wars, but I just feel like I don't know. What's it gonna be about? <laughs> um, his life on Tatooine. But he do. He fought Darth Maul again. Did he though? Yeah, he did. <laughs> did he though? <laughs> <laughs> and and he got. A, he got. A, he had to um protect Luke. And then why? What you mean? Because <laughs> they had to protect him. <laughs> why? Because he's, he's from he's the balance in the force, nigga. <laughs> but, but was he though? Yes. Well, this new shit is something else. Yeah, that's I don't what, what I'm saying. Like is, I don't know. <laughs> this new shit fucking up. It's like why he was just being a little hermit. Why he lied to the nigga? Why he just say, "Hey, your dad's Darth Vader." <laughs> And you can use the force loop. Let me teach you how to do the worm loop. Nigga, you, you wanna you wanna you wanna know that your dad ain't shit? I mean most of us do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean my dad is not like my dad I, is the shit, so yeah. I don't know what that's like for y'all, but I think it's cool because you grew up with your dad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Like what if you what if you follow your followers on the block or some shit like that? Oh shit, I speed past him every day. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> What's all, your mother never told you? All that money you out there making, man? He's like, don't talk to him, baby. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> you ain't buy me shit. I'm going to clap this old nigga. <laughs> All them times we were struggling, you over here in Benzes and Porsches and shit, <laughs> dookie ropes on your neck. Well, I was talking about boxes on the street, but oh, <laughs> I oh, go oh, oh, we was poor. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> look at this nigga, old bum ass bitch ass nigga. Won't you anyway? Yeah. I ghost, ghost. <laughs> you ain't <right>, pops. <laughs> Damn. You fuck if you wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, look, I, I like that idea. I do like the idea that they're bringing Ewan McGregor back because he's one of the good things about the prequels. Yeah. Um, so it is I am intrigued to see what happens I just don't know what they're gonna do or if he fights Darth Maul and then he's gonna fight him every season like what's he <laughs> all that nigga do was sit in his whole hovel and just watch this nigga from far away <laughs> what is Tuscan Raiders I, I mean it doesn't it doesn't <laughs> say how long the series has to be it could be like yeah. a, a one off it could yeah, be, it could you be know. Like, oh yeah true yeah. true 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 like, like true. 13 episodes or some shit like that yeah some I, shit I, I some shit like that I'm with it I mm-hmm. roll with it I fucks with it yeah alright so let's see Mass shootings delay ESPN pro ESPN's broadcast of Apex Legends tournament out of respect. I get this. Yeah, yeah I get it. Because there was so other than the mass shooting that just happened, there was one that happened in Florida. I think at a gaming tournament too, and that shit was on like Twitch. That shit yeah. was crazy. That shit was crazy. I forgot about that. Now yeah. the fact that people are starting to shoot up these gaming tournament, like it's just the wildest shit that all these mass shootings are happening, and then they just. Aiming for like kill yourself before you want to kill right. other people. God like damn. it's it's the wildest shit, but I get it. What ESPN is doing out of respect, um, some shit that should never happen. I guess because you don't want to start having like armed fucking security at the door for a gaming tournament. Like niggas is going there to play fucking Smash Brothers. You don't yeah. want niggas outside with like bulletproof vests on, AKs and fucking tanks and shit just to make sure niggas don't shoot the shit up. Yeah, I mean that's a. That's 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 too much of a risk, or that or that's too much of an investment just for some, I guess, some gaming shit. But uh, I don't know, who knows? But stop shooting people, stop 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 mad shooting people. Yeah, shoot right. yourself before you want to kill people. Yeah, shoot mm-hmm. you, bitch. Yeah, mm-hmm. stop being angry at the world. To fight. Figure out why the fuck you angry. I know why they're angry. Why? Cause ain't no pussy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so get kill some, yourself. Yeah, a hundred virgins or, or some or shit, or get some pussy. Death. You yeah. can't when you when you that weird and I mean that, nigga, that you off the grid. Buy it. Yeah. Back. That's why they. That's why they need to make this shit legal. Yeah, they, that's yeah, why they need to make yeah. prostitution legal. I don't, and I'm not even saying that's right. You shouldn't. Or you can just just because you're not get getting. It. And just because you're not getting on pussy doesn't mean you should shoot yourself or shoot other people. Just fucking figure your life out. No, it's yeah. not that serious. It's, it's not even just pussy. It's bullying too. It is it's that? Like, but you ever get pussy before you forget up, about man. everything? Nah, that might but, that uh, might be after the nut. Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> you know I ain't that bad. Forgot why I was bad <laughs> at things. <laughs> All right, look. <laughs> forgot why I was anxious. <laughs> but I'm saying that's not a reason to shoot people, regardless. Yeah, it's not. Just because you're not getting no pussy doesn't mean you should be clapping niggas up. That's stupid. Yeah, man. like that's the dumbest <sighs> thing in the world. Yeah. Who knows, man? But, but yeah, maybe prostitutes are legal. <laughs> maybe maybe that uh, no I'm saying I'm, I know it's a joke but like maybe that'll help curve something because some of these niggas maybe that's all they really need and if they can do that like that and they don't gotta worry about getting arrested or, or, you, pick up some or you could just start you know the, the, the weird kid or the kid that seems to be a little off start treating them like a motherfucking human because a lot of the shit like I said come from that's bullying true. so a lot of y'all motherfuckers like, like to make fun of the kid that's a little awkward or, or, or like a, a kids, little weird man. yeah but when when are we gonna, gonna start holding kids accountable for their actions because it's like when you uh-huh. know, when you keep hearing about like kids across the country committing suicide yeah. and they're like eight years old, 13 years old, or they like they barely know themselves or you getting made fun of because you're gay or you getting made fun of because you're a little off or you don't like the same, th- same thing that everybody else likes. And you go home and kill yourself. And they was like, oh, kids is being kids. They made fun of them. Now this little kid is dead. When are we going to start holding kids accountable? I don't know. Stop well, raising low. Are, stop kids, raising kids low are the, assholes. Kids are the parents. Stop. It's, I think it's I, I don't know. It's, I don't have kids. So. I think it's a I think it's a wide range of all of that. It's stop raising little assholes, but stop raising fucking like people may raise the assholes. You man. can't you can't raise a murderer. I don't think. I mean, you can. Well, you, you probably yeah, can, you, but you, I don't. I don't. I don't think you can, like. I don't think you intentionally, unless you're that type of but sick we all, individual. We also, I also do. Me personally, feel like we gotta try to make kids a little a little tougher. I feel like we lost. Yeah, but you a gotta bit. know which type of kids can take that shit because a lot of them kids that you try to make tough. You wind up pushing them away. Mm-hmm. You wind up, you know, ostracizing them. You wind up hurting them. Yeah. You're not making them tougher. Like if you, 
if you want to make them tougher, give them a lesson after. Don't just do some shit and don't explain it. Yeah. Like, you got you to gotta have a reason. Like, give them a why I'm doing this because I'm doing this because when you go out in the real world, people are going to really treat you like this and you have yeah. to be able to take that shit. People are going to say some shit that you don't like and you have to be able to take that shit, internalize it, not take offense to it. If you're just doing some shit just to do it, it's like, oh, toughen up, little nigga. Why? Cuz <laughs> like yeah, right. that don't help, and then it's like you know what I'm mad because I keep getting picked on. I keep being told to be tough, mm. and now I'm just gonna take it out the best way I know how, which is I need to harm y'all because I'm hurt. Hurt people, hurt people. So it's just the fact I've of never st- hurt one anyone in my life. Lies, <laughs> but <laughs> it's just the fact that we need to learn how to talk to people and need to fucking uh I guess rethink how we raise kids or how we talk to kids because the shit we doing now don't seem to be working all that good. So I don't know, ain't nothing in there. Why you got it? Mm. I lied. <laughs> but uh, no, right. let's see. Uh, Walmart pulls violent video games, vi- violent video game displays, but will still sell guns. So I don't know how 100% accurate that is. I think I don't think it's Wal- from the limited information I have. I don't think it's Walmart in general. Mm. I think it was that Walmart in particular. And that, so that, it wasn't like a corporate demand. It was like that whoever runs that Walmart in particular was like, we're going to remove the violent stuff. I don't think that's like a um, nationwide Walmart thing. Yeah. I could be wrong about that. Well, either way. Was it? It doesn't fuck it. That's the wrong thing to do. Video, video games have nothing to do with fucking. But was it a Walmart really in the city that had the mass shooting? Yeah, I think it was El Paso. I think it was just that Walmart, not wa- but, all Walmart. Mm, this is the thing, right? So we're not gonna blame the movies. Mm. We're not gonna blame TV. Mm. We're not gonna blame the copycat crimes with mass shootings. We're not gonna blame mental illness. We're gonna blame the video game. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto. We have been doing the same. Song and dance for at least twenty five years. Goddamn! Like, I don't think you are. Right? <laughs> yeah, that shit was drizzle. <laughs> See now, She's pulling. I don't know what's going on. I don't. <laughs> we took a week I, off. I forgot I, how to drink. <laughs> I've never met a nigga that was playing Grand Theft and just looked at the world like. I think I can get five I stars. <laughs> but that nigga in Philly. I think I could do it. That nigga had all five stars. <laughs> that nigga in Philly was awesome shit. Yeah. But I, I agree with you. I think. But why do, this, we, why do they keep blaming video games for other obvious things, though? Like, so for me, the way I'm processing it, and again, I don't know. I think it's because out of all those other things, video games are interactive. You are the one who is perpetrating the violence on another character. Like if you read a book and violence happens, oh, I, I read it. You see a movie, violence happens. You're just watching it. In a mm-hmm. video game, you're the one actively uh, doling out the actual violence. That being said, many studies have proven that video games do not lead to more violence. And I've been playing violent video games my whole life. I've never been in a fight. That's more of a release than anything. Yes, but, but- that's their their thought process on it. They're old people who never play a video game. They don't know shit about video games. They just yeah. see the violence and they assume, oh, you see the violence. So, yeah, but so what What makes a movie less violent than a video game, I'm assuming, is just because you actually play, like, you're the one doing the violent act, is my assumption, is why they pin it on that <clears throat> versus movies. Nigga, I've never played Mario. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to jump on a turtle. Went to a zoo <laughs> and just started stomping out turtles. Damn. <laughs> I've never, I've never played Crash Bandicoot and looked at a box like, I'm going to spin into it. <laughs> 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 like, yo, video games is not the fucking cause. You never played Mario and ate a fucking mushroom. Yeah, it was like, well, yo. I mean, I ate a mushroom, but it wasn't because yeah, yeah. of Mario. <laughs> hey. I'm going to grow. Speaking of which, who got mushrooms? <laughs> <laughs> but it's just the fact that we keep going for like the low hanging fruit. And it's just Wait, yes, easy- I did. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Hey, some shrooms? Yeah. Oh yeah, call your boy. Yo. Nigga hook me up with some shrooms. I want some shrooms. But I'm trying to die. Or some acid. Well, <laughs> I'm dead ass. Like y'all laughing, but I'm dead ass. I would give the nigga money for that oh, shit. God. Are you trying to end up like Chris Farley? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say heroin. <laughs> <laughs> I said mushrooms <laughs> and or acid. Mild hallucinogenics. Mild Yeah. I didn't but say yeah, I want to do Haran. They they keep they keep doing this shit and I don't know why. Man. It's just... smoke crack. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Continue. I don't know what I was saying. You, you I fucked up because you said some shit. 
it, it's just the low hanging fruit, and, and yes. niggas been doing the same shit for years. Yeah. I, and I and I don't know why. When it's so, uh, it's so much other shit that we can diagnose with with these kids with with whether it be depression, anxiety, uh, just any other mental illness, anything that involves like them taking drugs, them getting counseling, them you know just something else. We always go to video games are causing this. We see this unrealistic thing, and we feel like we can actually do it in real life. Or we feel like this is a, a a plausible thing, or this is something that I can do to relieve my tension in real life, and it's just never the fucking case. Yeah. And it's just the video games have never been like we. There's a whole bunch of violent video games. It was probably mad. I'm pretty sure there was mad shoes before Grand Theft came out. I'm pretty sure Columbine happened before Grand Theft came out. Yeah. Mm, I think it did. Columbine was like oh one. Yeah, yeah. So Grand Theft Auto Grand Theft Three came, gra- three was Grand, Grand Theft Three came out when like old. Oh, Three, four, when it got really popular. I think I was like yeah. sixteen when it came out. I mean, point being, there was violent. It, Mortal it, Kombat existed. There was yo, violent. There was Mortal Kombat before. Anything, video games blood, don't man. make the world violent. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Unstable people make the world the world violent. violent. It's yeah. never it's been, it's never been the cause of video games. But if that's what helps y'all sleep better at night, hey, yeah. do you? But and how people, many of them people were in like any type of counseling? And then it's like. That's not the only place to shop for video games. So it's like, what are y'all y'all putting a fucking band aid on a bullet wound? Like it don't really. It, it's. I mean, niggas is dumb. Like they like. Oh, if we if we take all the video violent video game posters on and stuff again, no, it's, no. It's and like, then you no, have the internet. Still sell guns. So it's like you can't see it. You can't physically see it in the store, but people still have the internet. People mm. are gonna still hear from third parties. Your friends are gonna be talking about this game or this in school on Monday. So it's like, what are you really doing? I mean, you doing your part. I oh, get God. it. The shootings happen. You feel bad. You want to do something about it. This is your call to action, but. Stop selling guns. Mm-hmm. What is it really doing? But but you're still selling guns. I don't Make it so you can't, so other people can't I, shoot other people. What is the process for buying a gun in Walmart? I think you I walk up and say yes, and then walk. <laughs> out. <laughs> Uzi nine millimeter. That's yeah. what you do. I, I, I don't. I, I really. I've I've never brought a gun from Walmart. I'm pretty sure it's not that difficult. Uh, yeah. Let me get the assault rifle. Are oh, you going hunting? Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm hunting. S- Something yeah. like the Terminator. Hey, you can't do that. You can't load it. <laughs> Tell me what the fuck I can do. Right. Yeah, I think that's the only thing. You probably can't buy the gun and the bullets at the same time. I think it's probably the only fucking. There's not too many Walmart that sell guns though. Here, here. <laughs> oh, further, here. further south you go. Yeah, more they do that shit. I'm, I'm pretty Even, sure. That's if not, you go I don't to know. Virginia, I think all of, don't all of Walmart sell guns. No. Nah. I don't. It's not all of them. The, I don't know. Walmart uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't look for guns, nigga. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When I go to Walmart, <laughs> that's, that's not on my mind. That's I'm not, not even thinking about the guns. I think they used to. Everybody in Stratford already got guns. In, 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 the, in the '90s, they used to, but they don't. Yeah. They don't know more. They don't sell yeah. guns. Well, everybody in Stratford already got guns. So yeah. they fucking pass the Uzi's. Go right. Go right to the peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! They got Jiffy on sale, nigga. They got a. They got a nine on sale too. Oh, they got Blinkies on sale and Jiffy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Nutella. <laughs> Nut- <laughs> Nutella. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Xbox first party devs, well, developers could release games on rival platforms. Hmm. <laughs> that <laughs> yo, mistake. that shit. When I heard that shit, I was like, "Why?" To be clear, it's not everyone. It's um, first party Obsidian. Yes. Okay. And this other one, I forgot the name of it. But at the same time, that's just you're just asking for the disaster when you're doing that. Because if you do that and this shit works, what what, what makes you think that they're not gonna do with the other things? I mean, like, so, like Gears of War, Gears well, of War being on PlayStation. So I guess it depends. They, they, well, it, is Microsoft giving them permission or not? Because if it's a first yeah, party, yeah, studio, this is all contracts. Yeah. So if, if if Microsoft was like, oh, well, you can't, then they can't, and then they just won't be able to. If it's a first party studio, which is, which is the reason of, which is the point of first party studios is they make games specifically yeah, for, for that. that console that they are or company that they're attached to. Yeah. So if I don't know what games are being allowed to go on other consoles, but <clears throat> so it might be like certain games. It might not even be their whole catalog. Maybe for certain games it might make sense, and maybe they're just trying something. And for Microsoft, to them, it's kind of a win-win to a certain extent because if it sells well on PlayStation or whatever, they're yeah. still getting that money because they own that company. So any money they make off that game, Microsoft makes to that's a certain a, that's extent. That's a risk. It is a risk. It's a big um, risk. But I think big reward. But obviously, I think you're. I think Microsoft is more open to being more connected to PlayStation than PlayStation is um, for obvious reasons. Yeah. So I think maybe they're testing the waters to see how that works. Maybe we'll... Because, I mean, the consoles do the same exact thing, basically, at the same point. Yeah. They're, they're basically the same shit. It's just one is shaped different than the other. It might... I don't know. It might be a good idea. 
It depends what the games are, and then we'll see. I don't. I know. mean, I see what they're trying to do. The whole chess move. They're trying to. <clears throat> All right, let's say let's say their game is a hit, right? Mm-hmm. But it's on PlayStation. Then, like the sequel, they take it back. Like, I gotcha, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, so like, you gotta get Xbox yeah, later. Something like that too. Yeah, see. Yeah, it's kind of like um, what was it? Mass Effect. Mass Effect was for Xbox first. Mm-hmm. Then when Part Two came out, it came for PlayStation. But they never put. I don't one. know if they never had a chance to take it back or nothing like that or the rights or anything. Or maybe the rights were just like, you know what, fuck, fuck, it. we put it on everything. Well, because it's a Bioware, you know. Yeah, yeah, but that shit was really good and. Could have had something, but you gave it away. I don't know. But they still had it. I think most yeah, people yeah, associate. One, I think but. most people associate Mass Effect with Xbox more than they do PlayStation. Uh, the, I think so. Mass Effect had more content on PlayStation though. No, they, I think they, they had added all a little the same bit. Stuff. They had a little bit more. I think. I think they had a little bit more. If I'm, I I'm, if I'm not right. I'm correct. Shout I don't to, know. I switched, Mass I switched to PlayStation after that. PlayStation. <laughs> it's all dead. <laughs> dead. Yeah. So let's see an FCC filing for an SNES style controller hints to the games coming to Switch Online. Oh shit! They're getting some SNES shit now. Now, <laughs> if they start bringing <laughs> SNES games yeah. to Switch, yeah, for it's free, fucking, for free, it's fucking lit. Yeah. Nigga, when I say it's lit, it's fucking lit, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Turtles in Time on Switch, nigga. Online. And you can play them shits online. Yo, you played Double Dragons 2 online. You remember I was asking you that shit? I was yeah. like, yo, they got Double Dragons 2 up here? Yo, play shit online? Dog, if you can play that shit online, you can play fucking Battletoads and Double Dragons online. Yeah. If you can play a lot, you can play Kirby online. It's it's a lot of shit you can play on. It, yo. Zombies ain't my neighbors. Zombies ain't my, oh my God. Yeah, man, this should. I mean, if they decide to make that type of move, it'll be big. But is there a high risk, high reward thing, or is it? No, I think it's all reward. Yeah, I don't think there's any free. real risk in it. Yeah, it's free, and then it's just selling games. I'm sure. Yeah, but are they going to sell to the general consumer? Because no, you know, that's very niche. That's for old niggas like us. Yeah, yeah. We'll so have switches. I think there's a reason why they're doing this. Uh, <clears throat> the free shit. Like the whole NES catalog, like most of the shit they put out is free. Like every all this shit is free, being free. I think they're really starting to cut down on this bootlegging shit. They're trying to stop that shit. Period. Oh, the yeah. ROM emulator. The shit. ROM emulator. Yeah, I think yeah. that's why they're doing this shit. Now, I wish PlayStation would do the same thing with PlayStation shit. He's like, nah, dog, fuck y'all. <laughs> shit, I think they. Every, they I think, might. I think all that shit about to be backwards compatible. All that PlayStation Store shit about to go up. I don't know, man. You know, you never know. If it, you if you didn't save all your games from PlayStation, PlayStation Two, and all that shit, yeah. and if you get this new uh, PlayStation Five and all that shit is backwards compatible, <laughs> fucking game changers. In a perfect world, if PlayStation Five did the same thing that Switch is about to do, like they started with the PlayStation and started giving you PlayStation shit for free mm-hmm. that you were just streaming, would you fuck with it? Hell yeah! Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's a way to cut back on the bootlegging. In the ROM emulators, like you don't need it. We already got it. We got it for free at that. And that's a big business that they just never thought. Well, I don't know if they never thought of taking that over, but they never jumped on the opportunity to for some reason. I yeah. don't know. Maybe they was concerned with like, oh, a lot of y'all niggas don't like this old shit. Like, yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot, of, a lot of old niggas that still remember fucking Sega and you know the SNES and the Dreamcast and then the, yeah. the regular Nintendo. It's like, yeah, we still want to play this old shit today. Shit, Mega Man Legends, my shit. Nigga, I played Toji and Earl last week. <laughs> <laughs> put that shit, put that shit on fucking uh something. <laughs> but uh, I'm yeah, uh, Power Stone, Power Stone producer is down to make another installment for Switch. Oh, About fucking do. time, nigga. nigga. But you got Smash. Yeah, yeah, but, but Power, Power Stone, Stone is different. Power Stone. It's different. Is it? It's yes, different. it yeah. is. Because you got like, the, the different layers and levels and you got to collect the stones and Digivolve. And, I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a little different. Yeah, but it's the same thing. The only thing that's different is that you got to collect stones, but it's still the same thing with the boss fights. It's still yeah. the same thing with the knocking niggas off stage or fucking niggas up. It's, it's like, I don't know. It's, 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 it's the same still different thing. in my head. I understand if, why yeah, you would think that, though. Yeah, I'm just saying it's like the same. It's three-dimensional, though. Yeah, it's, it is three-dimensional, but. different. I mean, it could work, but you it would have to be like a Power Stone reboot type of thing. Like you would have to introduce this to a whole new audience. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be like a reboot. Put some new characters in it. Put my nigga Goku back in that bitch and then keep it moving. <laughs> Goku, a long time. Yeah, with the Genki Dama. What is with the fucking spirit bomb in these niggas? Yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I still yeah. fuck niggas up with that. Yeah, yo. yeah, man, this shit was fun, dog. Yeah, what's up with some Power Stone? Yo? It's coming. I'm, I'm with it. Told you, man. Yeah, yo, told you. What the fuck y'all niggas Got up. Got it. Man. I almost won. <laughs> Almost doesn't count. Almost. Yeah, almost one. Almost doesn't I count. I watched that shit today. I almost won. 
Yeah, these niggas Yo, like, I think I niggas. cheated. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you did. You, you did. did. You just, you nah, did. but I didn't, a... I didn't. I didn't know because I paused it. I was. I was, I was just. I, I was just surprised. You paused it and mid action. Yeah, I think you would have been done. Nah, because that nigga fucking. I was like, <laughs> boom. I was like, Spun that nigga. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Yeah, nigga was like, yo, that's just getting good with this. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one, that particular game, I was doing. Nah, you was going there. I was like, doing that. This nigga went two in a row. Yeah, I was doing that. I was trying to win, nigga. I was trying to win. Yeah, trying to do for the culture. <laughs> Coach said nah though <laughs> It did <laughs> like, like most things in my life It denied me <laughs> Okay Okay, okay. <laughs> So uh, fucked up <laughs> So Gene Simmons Is aware that Obstagoon Looks strikingly similar to him And now uh, <laughs> What was that bullshit They tried to run by uh, UK rock or some shit. Yeah, like like they base it off of eighties uh, punk rock or some shit. Punk punk rock in, yeah. in, in the in the UK, and it was like yo, everybody just like this with the you know the the spiky hair and like the but. It, when, when I saw this shit with, with the tongue out and the yeah, star, I was like, like yo, yeah, oh, man, this nigga looks just like a Kiss uh, <laughs> band member. But uh, I guess that's what you have to do. Uh, <laughs> have to do to, to uh, sell the game, but you know, I mean, Gene, you don't. If but... Gene Simmons wants to. Uh, is he trying to sell them niggas for that? He should. <laughs> I don't think I don't see will. why not. He shouldn't. It's a, fucking, it's a video game. Have fun. Like, if his face paint is trademark. It is. And the tongue and shit like I'm, that. Like, he, like, you cannot hey. trademark your tongue. I don't give a fuck what you say to me. <laughs> it's a likeness, son. <laughs> it's a tongue, nigga. Hey, it's a likeness, man. The face paint, I'll give you the tongue. Uh, mm, all right. The tongue just solidified it. I was like, oh, okay. Come right, on, man. I mean, it's a badger. Nigga, look hot, though. It's I a badger. Lie. Badger's got long tongue. Look nigga. hot. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm a, I'm a beat hash ass with that nigga, so it don't really matter. <laughs> Obstagoon. Yeah. <laughs> you even like his name, Obstagoon. All right, yeah. nigga. Make sure you got Obstagoon in your yeah. teeth. Yeah. <laughs> nah, because you're going to put some shit in your teeth that's going to fucking fuck my Obstagoon up. <laughs> nah, make sure you got Obstagoon. I'm going to fucking put a robo flavor in that. That's bed. a robo flavor. <laughs> but that's a normal part of Pokemon. You should be straight. Yeah. I'm I don't think it has any uh, curve stop weaknesses. Oh, that shit come out soon, too. Damn. Yeah. What? Pokemon. Yeah, come out in November. They get lazy though. Yeah, I'm about to, I gotta get fucking ready. Yep, better nigga. <laughs> so you, get, you uh, getting into this time, Bobby? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, no. <sighs> Come on, Bobby, you gotta get so we can so we can do three on thrust. You don't need everything. <laughs> yeah, you need Pokemans yeah. and then what else? Yeah, that's it. I just hate that they got lazy. I mean, well, like, oh, it's hard to do the 3D animation. It's, it's hard to the pixels. I'm yeah, telling you, they're yeah, just gonna was, charge you for that, that shit. That was full bullshit, but yeah, yeah. full blown bullshit. Whatever though. So uh, let's see, Titan season two trailer. Uh, sure. yeah. Lady Two Teddy. I am conf- yeah. I am conflicted and confused. Why? Because <laughs> they just like time skipped a little bit. Like they like they oh, just because the way it ended, yeah. the last episode ended. Yeah, and they just showing shit like okay, so they just down the Titans and like the Titans was a thing and like. Okay, I mean, I I'm guess. pretty sure they just showing us like the good parts of the yeah, season. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure they're going because you can't beat that. Trigon. You really can't beat Trigon. Yeah. Oh, is it all a dream thing? Or well, they have I, to beat the nigga. I'm pretty sure something happens. But I don't think he's defeated. It's just, yeah. like, I'm just I mean, because Raven, because well, Raven yeah, got the gem. Yeah, yeah, yeah so maybe she now. like trapped the nigga in the, yeah, in the diamond yeah. in the forehead. Like he's trapped in the closet. He's trapped in the diamond. It's something. Yeah. Fucking idiot. So, Dark Phoenix, uh, 170 million flop leads Fox Films to what? X, X. many projects. <laughs> it's like, oh, damn, you fucked up, fucked up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. What you want to say? It was bad. It's bad, bad. It uh, didn't do well. It didn't perform well. And I did not enjoy it. I don't think anyone in this room enjoyed it. Yeah. I didn't think that the number was that low though for US. Yeah. It was like sixty five million or something like that. Yeah, it's like the lowest like, X Men lowest X Men thing movie out of all the all the movies. Lower than uh, Wolverine Origins, lower than fucking How how's it lower than Wolverine Origins? <laughs> that's how bad that shit did. <laughs> that's crazy. Man, that's wild. They they're even having doubts about uh new, new mutants. mutants. <laughs> <laughs> they like, uh, do we really like, put this shit out? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, that's just gonna end up on like Hulu now. That they fucking gonna, gonna right. do that shit. It's gonna be on like Disney Plus. Yeah, you might be right. You call that shit long ass time. <laughs> just turn on that shit one day. It's gonna be <laughs> up there like, oh right. shit, look at new mutants. Go watch that shit. Yeah, We're like all right, we got it. Because if this shit did bad, just imagine what this shit gonna do. I know. Damn. I don't know. It sucks because I wanted the movie to be decent i guess but we i don't know it's, it's one of the things it's like we knew that disney was getting all this shit anyway so uh, 
damn if you do, damn if you don't. But I didn't want the movie to be like a train wreck, even though it kind of was like a <laughs> train, train wreck. wreck. And then you <clears> do <throat> research train, the train wreck. wreck. Yeah. <laughs> and it was an actual train wreck in the movie. <laughs> oh, God shit. Dude. Shit is fucking funny. That's crazy. Shout out to X-Men, though. Yo, how, <laughs> shout out to X-Men. <laughs> shit, in like, what, five years? Yeah, well, shout uh, out to niggas in five years. Yeah, that's the only fucking thing. Now we got to wait like five years before we get yeah. some new shit. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, did you hear uh, New Mutants? Uh, Disney is having uh, doubts about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it might go to Hulu, like I said. <laughs> I mean, I thought, I, I heard some shit that they wasn't even planning on putting that shit out. Like, at all. Oh. Yeah, they might not. Yeah, they was like, yo, we we thinking this shit over. And uh, we just might not ever put the shit out. Like, the shit is just too <laughs> fucked up for us to <laughs> even, like, show the people. <laughs> Have fun, nigga. Uh, <laughs> Fucking that bottle up. <laughs> the point. But uh, let's see. What's the next topic? So, Andy Circus um, closes deal to direct Venom 2. Yeah. I'm with it. I, I like Andy Circus. He's yeah. a decent uh, director, I think. Yeah. That's the dude who did Smeagol. Yeah, it's Gollum. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Claw. Yeah, so Claw. he... So he knows. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so he he knows he knows both sides. He knows, yeah, to be he, an know, actor he knows how to do and yeah, yeah. Talk to yourself and do shit like that. And, <laughs> like great yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it. But you know, I, I just, just want to know that the direction that this is going is it going to be like extra violent now. I don't think it's going to be a comedy, but it, it can't be uh, if you well, gonna, well, if you're going to introduce Carnage. And yeah, they said that Carnage was supposed to be the villain for for Venom too. Uh-huh. Yeah, like you can't introduce the nigga then not have him in the movie. So yeah. I would hope it's gonna be like some blood, guts, and gore. So it's yeah. gotta be violent and shite. So yeah. <laughs> shite. let's see. <laughs> Noah Hawley says the Doctor Doom script is done. Yeah. So we getting a Doctor Doom what movie? Yeah, yeah, he's working a movie. Yeah. Ooh, I want. I think see. that's the guy who does Legion, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I'm with it. I'm, I like the yeah. idea of it. Obviously, I'm concerned because everything we've gotten Fantastic Four related has not been the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea of it, I am super excited about, and I like what I've saw Legion. So I trust the person who's behind it. But obviously, it's a wait and see type of thing. And I don't think we have any casting information or anything like that yet, right? That I remember. No. So I don't even know if they have a director. I think just the script is done, which is yep. fine. Start start small. Mm-hmm. Make sure that's good. Tight. Make the script good. Pick the right people for it, and hopefully, it'll be a good shit. Okay, all right. And uh, Marvel announces new Marvel's podcast. The voice includes Method Man as Ben Ulrich, <laughs> uh, Ethan Peck as Mister Fantastic, and Anna Sophia as Robbie. No, what? What? Anna? What? Anna? Anna Sophia Robbie as Marcia Hard 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 something. <laughs> Hard- <laughs> Hardesty. Hard- Hardesty. Hardesty. Mm-hmm. I can't hard read. Something. <laughs> yeah, your girls on hard something. What? Sick of this shit. So, I made one bad joke the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so this is going to be like, uh, uh, whatchamacallit? But Wolverine shit? Yeah, Wolverine a long night. Yeah. yeah. Like, so it's going to be like a episodical mm-hmm. podcast thing. What? I'm going to save it. Oh, okay. I, I was gonna say, it, but I didn't want to say because I, I didn't. I didn't want to take his, his joke. What? Who gonna play Red Man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let that shit go. Yeah. Yo. Nah, nah that, that shit was dumb. <laughs> can't, can't let it go. Nah, but this is the thing, though. This is the thing that that got, got me, that really got me upset because I was like, damn, like what the fuck did I say? Then I found out what I said. Yeah. And then I was like, oh. Oh yeah. But I was like, okay, how long did the conversation go? Then she was only in like four seconds. Yeah, I know. That was like way was in like, the beginning. Yo, of it wasn't even like I doubled down on. It. I was like, mm, oh, okay. Yeah. And that I know. was it. Yeah, I know. But it's the, <laughs> and I didn't even mean it like I said it. I, I know. Like, oh, okay. All right. But it's the internet. Like I meant, <laughs> I meant, I meant it the same way how um in Straight Outta Compton, uh, Snoop Dogg's in it. Yeah. yeah. I meant it like that, but it was like you know, Gene Studios like the fucking Twilight Zone. So it's like, oh, mm, mm. you say some shit, just go to the next. It's the internet, nigga. Like you know, niggas on the internet can't help themselves. Yeah, like, these niggas just upset. Oh my God. Upset. I'm like, I damn. Red, man. I just remember yeah, who played bad. Snoop. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lakeith. Lakeith Stanfield. Oh, Lakeith Stanfield played Snoop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to that nigga. <laughs> yeah, now, I yeah. never want fans like that. I never want fans like that. That'll just jump on people, be mad like that. Oh, yeah. you're gonna get them. Like, goddamn, nigga. Yeah, be kind to people, people. But Marvel yeah. announces new Marvel's <laughs> podcast. Um, I'm with it though, but so it's a Marvel podcast about what? Like, what is the? I'm not sure. I guess the whole just just Marvel. 
Yeah, I, I didn't listen to The Long Night, but from what I was... You didn't listen to The Long Night? No, nah, but I heard it was really good. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. Yeah, to that shit. Yeah, I just, I just one of the things I meant to do, and I just never went back and did it. Yeah. Because I wanted to wait until it was all, all of them were out, and then, and then listen to it all as one thing. Um, I never did. But I don't know. I know Ben Eric is like the news reporter type of dude that was like in Daredevil. He's the one, the black dude with glasses. That, um... Uh, yeah, the no, white girl that got that got killed. Yeah. So I'm sure it's, maybe he's gonna be dealing with some type of investigation type of thing or some shit like that. Probably. So I'm mm-hmm. intrigued, obviously. And if it's the same quality as the Long Night type of shit, it's probably gonna be really good. Yeah. Okay. I'm with it. All right. So that's it for topics. I believe so. So uh, picks. What we got for picks? <laughs> 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 on me oh, anybody no. oh yeah um i'm gonna say watch invite a zim into the florpus it's on netflix and it's funny yeah what the fuck is this movie <laughs> shit <laughs> what invite a zim they have a new oh, movie that's, that just came out like friday oh, yeah. or something like that oh yeah into the florpus yeah that was supposed to come out with the rock of modern life yeah, rock of modern life is out oh, too okay. but uh yeah Yo, Yo, shit Ro- about that rock of modern life <laughs> That's gonna be that was gonna be my. <laughs> you have to watch Rocco's Modern Life. It's all about <laughs> how the world changed. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> change is gonna happen. Yeah. And when they say change happens, oh, it happens. Are you talking about, <laughs> talking about Rachel? Yeah, Rachel. Yeah. No. What about the big head son? What happened? Rachel. Rachel. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what's your pick? <laughs> <laughs> King and Ashura. Oh, I gotta watch. That. Oh. Yeah, it's like it's like Baki, but. It's a little better because they get right into the fighting. It's yeah. little dialogue. Yeah, he was like fighting nigga like in the like the opening scene yeah. fighting nigga in, in the, in the uh, in alley alleyway. He was like, "Bitch, dun, dun, dun. yeah." And then he's like, "Hey, you want to fight?" He's like, "Hell no." He's like, "All right, cool." <laughs> <laughs> and it walked off. Yeah, that shit kind of lit. Word. It's on Netflix. So can I get that bottle back? <laughs> I made one oh, bad joke. Yeah, I made dude. one relatively <laughs> not great joke thank you sir i appreciate you yeah. i made one bad joke the whole day i did i think i did pretty good this episode if we're being honest he did all right, <laughs> all right so we done yeah. yeah i said funny shit but not like crazy off the wall shit <laughs> except for the last thing okay but you know it's building up so we <laughs> so we done yeah all right so ninja vanish yeah. we out of here gang gang